On 2nd October 2025, we have seen the release of new version of Raspberry Pi OS, which is based on Debian 13 Trixie. In this video, we'll see how to install latest Raspberry Pi OS on Raspberry Pi 5. I'll use the headless method where we don't need keyboard, mouse and external monitor. The recommended method is to flash a clean copy of Trixie image, then upgrading from a running bookworm image because you might face some errors and it might not be 100% working. Because of that, I'll use the recommended method to flash the Trixie OS in this video. Hello everyone, welcome to IoT Frontier. My name is Harihar Nath. Let's get started. First, we'll look into the latest features of Trixie. So the first feature or the upgrade in Trixie is the UI that is user interface themes. So you'll be having a new set of icons, fonts and desktop backgrounds available for you. And then, and then they have also replaced preference menu into a new control center application where they have merged all the different settings of printers, screens, system, everything onto single control center. So here you can see everything in the left tab and you can also control and modify something about the printers, screens, etc. And then we also have this bookshelf feature where you can look into the magazines and books from Raspberry Pi Press. So these are the few upgrades or the features that we can see on Trixie. Now let's get started with the installation. So first we need some hardware prerequisites. We need micro SD card and SD card reader. Then we need a laptop to flash the OS and obviously Raspberry Pi 5 with power adapter. And as we are going with headless method, we don't need external monitor, keyboard and mouse. But if you have them already, then you can use them as an optional. So first thing first, we need to install Raspberry Pi Imager. So go to Google and search for Raspberry Pi software. And inside that you will find Raspberry Pi Imager. So you need to just click on this Raspberry Pi. Uh, so you can download this Raspberry Pi Imager for different OS. So I have Windows right now. So I have already downloaded. You can just click on it and it will download. So once downloaded, you can install and then Raspberry Pi Imager can be seen like this. This is the launch page of Raspberry Pi Imager. Next thing is you need to connect your SD card with your SD card reader and and insert onto your laptop. So now you can see my SD card is inserted. So first I will have to choose the target device. So basically I have Raspberry Pi 5. So if you have 5, 500, 500 plus or compute module 5, whichever is in the 5 series, you can choose this or other modules, we can choose these modules. So I will choose this and the operating system. Click on this. So here you can see a port of Debian Trixie with Raspberry Pi desktop. So I am going to use this with the 64 bit. Next is to choose the storage. So here because of the SD card which is 64 GB, I can see that is mounted E. So I can click on that. Click on next. Now we need to click on edit settings. So here you need to provide your host name that is Raspberry Pi which I will keep it as default and then so you can provide your default username and passwords and then which Wi-Fi it has to connect those things you can mention and the country of LAN etc and the locale which is the time zone and the keyboard and under the services you can enable SSH because we are going to do the headless method we need this SSH to be enabled and remaining things will be as it is and click on save. Now you can click on yes. So it will be saying that all the existing data will be erased on the SD card. So I'll say yes. So first it has formatted and now it is trying to write. So I'll fast forward this. Now you can see the writing has been completed and it is verifying. Now we can see the Raspberry Pi OS has been written to your SD card. So we can click on continue. 
and then remove the SD card reader from your laptop and connect the SD card to your Raspberry Pi SD card slot. Now I'm going to power on the Raspberry Pi. And next important thing that we need to have is Putty. So you can go to Putty and download the latest version of Putty. So Windows MSI installer you can download. So I already have one. So I can open Putty. And after this, you also need Angry IP scanner. So that to find what is the IP address of Raspberry Pi. So we can download it. So I'll give Raspberry Pi 5 two to three minutes to boot up. And after that, what we can do is we can use the range of our Wi-Fi to scan all the devices that are in our network. So now we can sort this by host name. And now I see that Raspberry Pi dot local. So even if you don't install sometimes this angry IP scanner, you can just use the host name that is raspberry pi dot local. So what we can do is we can go to putty and type raspberry pi dot local. After typing this raspberry pi dot local, you can click on open. So now we'll see this warning. So you should accept it and then provide the username and password that you have already set up in while flashing. So now you can see this new version. So I can use uname minus a and you see the latest version of OS. Now if I want to connect to the desktop of this Raspberry Pi, I need to have something called Raspberry Pi Connect. So I can go to Raspberry Pi software again. You can see this Raspberry Pi Connect. So click on find out more, read the documentation. So this is by default available in the latest Raspberry Pi's OS and you need to just try to install it if it is not there. So it should be already there. So I'll just turn it on. So I copy this Raspberry Pi connect dot on and then paste it here. Now we can see the Raspberry Pi connect is started. So next thing is I need to go to Raspberry Pi connect sign in option and I'll sign in as my account already is created. So I'll create a new device. So before doing that, I need to link this Raspberry Pi with the connect account. So what I can do is I'll copy this command and paste it in the SSH. So it will give me this URL to login. So I can open this URL directly. So now we can see the Raspberry Pi has been connected and linked. So you can see even here, this is signed in. So what I can go back is I can refresh my devices. I can see this is already there and I can connect via screen sharing. So this is the latest Trixie Raspberry Pi OS. So we can see the latest icons that are available under preferences. You can see the control center. And here you can see all the defaults. Desktop, you can see the sunrise. You can also change to something else and that will be changed here. And there are few things that you can also change like the layout, etc. And the display you can modify interfaces like VNC can be enabled, etc. And the keyboard, printer, mouse, everything under one place. And you can also change the theme as previously mentioned. You can click on this theme and you can change whatever the color you want to set and those things. And that's all for today's video. If you found this video informative, please type helpful and smash that like button. If you are interested to learn Raspberry Pi sensor integration, then I have created a playlist for you. You can click on it to learn more. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another interesting video.